Hey family, my name is Kendall Montgomery and today I want to talk to you planners out there. Um, people who have every detail of their life planned out um, and maybe if you're like me, kind of obsessive planners. Um, I've kind of blamed my mom ever since I was a kid when I was in elementary school. My mom would tell me that colleges check back to elementary school for your grades. And so that set me on a trajectory of like, well, I've got to make straight A's. And so I made straight A's in elementary school. And whenever I was in sixth grade, I knew that I wanted to move to Los Angeles to work in film and TV. And that was my plan from sixth grade. And I went through school and into high school and made straight A's. And two weeks after I graduated high school, I packed my bags at 18 and I moved to Los Angeles to pursue my dream of being in film and TV. And I was out there and I worked hard for 17 years in LA and worked hard to build that career. And I went to college and I got a 4.0 and I had all these plans and I was checking off all the boxes and crossing them off. Okay, I did this perfectly and I did this right and all of this. And truth be told, my career uh, did not end up looking like I had planned. Um, and it still doesn't look that way in a lot of ways. Um, and in fact, most of the plans that I had for my life um, didn't, don't, either haven't happened or don't, haven't looked like um, I thought they were going to. And man, that has been a hard reality for me um, as I'm like, gosh, as a perfectionist and a planner, I'm like, what did I do wrong? Like, I, I did everything right. Like, I was obedient, you know, and of course I made mistakes along the way and made poor choices. But in general, like, I followed through on what I wanted to do in a lot of ways. And, and yet I still haven't seen those things that those desires in my heart and those plans come to fruition. And one of the things, um, as God continues to change my plans, uh, even now, um, that he's been teaching me recently, um, and kind of slapping me over the head with is to release control of the way that my plans look and my timeline. And that doesn't mean that I have to lay down my plans and my dreams for my life and to say, well, whatever, like they're not coming to true, so whatever, I don't, I'm not just not gonna plan anymore. It's like, no, God wants us to have dreams and plan. And oftentimes, those dreams and those plans that we're striving towards are God-given, that God has created us with that in our heart or has put those things on our heart to go after so that we can be used in those areas for his kingdom. And so there, it's not that he's saying no, most often it's saying not right now. And man, that has been a lesson that I have been learning and growing in tremendously um, and really trying to lay down the vision, the way that I thought that that would look and the timeline in which that I thought that it would happen. And some of the scripture that has really been helpful to me uh, in this are come out of the Proverbs. I mean, the Proverbs are books of wisdom and they are chocked full of wisdom. And so I wanna read you a couple of those today um, that have been helpful for me in my journey to really lay down, submit to God's sovereignty um, in my plans. Proverbs 16, one, the plans of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Proverbs 19.21, Many are the plans in the mind of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. And so even though God is sovereign, it is his purpose that will stand at the end of the day. That doesn't mean that we throw up our hands and we don't make a plan. We just go, whatever, if whatever God wants to happen is going to happen anyways, why make a plan? Because God's word is very clear in six, uh, Proverbs 16, uh, 9. The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. So man makes his plans and God guides our steps. And so yes, make your plans, have a plan for your life and go after it, but hold loosely what it will look like in the timeline because that is up to the Lord and his sovereignty. And that has been hard for me to understand, but man, I am trying desperately. And then in one of my favorite Proverbs I've just recently came across was Proverbs 20, 24. A man's steps are from the Lord. How then can man understand his way? So goodness, as I have been trying to go, why don't I understand what you're doing? I've done everything right. And yet, and it's because God's very clear. He lays it out like we aren't to understand his way. Who can understand it? And so that, I don't know for you, but that brought me so much hope of like, okay, I'm not supposed to understand it. Just be faithful and obedient and walk and allow him to guide your steps. I want to lead you with one last verse um, in Matthew 6, 31. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? 
For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious enough for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. And so, family, like, if we just seek first the kingdom, everything else, God's going to work out everything else. So that's what God's asking you to do, is to seek first his kingdom, and to walk and to have plans, and leave the rest to him, and trust in his sovereignty. I hope that that brings you some encouragement and some hope today. Love you guys.